this newest episode of Cooking with Chris. Today we are going to take some ordinary ingredients and make them into an extraordinary casserole. It is a cheesy au gratin potato and hopefully this will become a family favorite of yours. Um, over here you'll see the prep time, uh, cook time, and also the servings it will make. I hope you enjoy this recipe and I hope it does become a family favorite. So sit back, enjoy, and let's keep co get cooking. First step in this recipe, you guys, is going to be we are going to take our six baking potatoes. We are going to scrub them, but do not peel them. We're going to cut them into eight, one eighth inch slices, and all of it should measure out to about four cups. So once we get that done, we'll go on to step number two. Okay, step two in this is we're going to uh, melt our one fourth cup of butter into our it says a two quart scallop, but I didn't know if that'd be big enough. So into this, we're going to dump our one medium onion that's been chopped up. And what you're going to do is you are going to uh, cook the onion in the butter for about two minutes, stirring occasionally until it, t it is tender. And then once that is done, what we're going to do is we're going to stir in the flour, salt, and pepper. We'll cook it, stirring it constantly until bubbly. Then we'll remove it from the heat. And we'll move on to the next step. Then what we're going to do is we are going to mix in our flour, our one teaspoon, tablespoon of flour, our one teaspoon of salt, the one fourth teaspoon of pepper and we're going to just mix that right in we're mix it right up and we're just going to, have to boil until it gets all nice and bubbly okay the next step of this is we're going to add our milk two cups of milk into the onion mixture one and a half cups of our cheese and what we're going to do is we're going to stir this around and mix it till it boils. So it gets nice and thick. Okay, here's the final step before we start cooking. What you want to do is in a two, two quart or one and a half quart baking pan, you want to spread your potatoes out like this. This is six baking potatoes. It's kind of full. And what we're going to do is we are going to pour our cheese mix, cheese sauce, over the potatoes. Okay, so here is what they look like with all the sauce over them. What I found out is that it might be six potatoes if they're the large baking potatoes are a little bit much. So if you're getting the large baked potatoes, maybe four or five. But here's what it looks like. What we do now is we're going to pop it into the oven. Sprinkle the rest of the cheese on it, the rest of the two cups, and the breadcrumbs. And then we're going to put it in until it's uh, brown and bubbly. Okay, I just pulled the potatoes out of the oven. Here they are so far. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the rest of our cheese, which is about half a cup, sprinkle it right over the top of them. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put on our fourth of a cup of breadcrumbs 
which mine are Italian seasoning type, and then paprika. You can use as much as you want of this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to just sprinkle this right over the top of this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to throw it back in the oven and let it get all nice and brown and bubbly. <laughs> so let's put this bad boy back in the oven. Okay, so here we go. We got a nice little plate of it. Like I said, this thing is uh, served six servings. So let's give it a shot. For the mess up in time, it's still cooked pretty well. And I added a little bit of garlic to my cheese sauce, so I'd say this one is a complete success. So, that will do it for this episode. Okay, everybody, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Cooking with Chris. I hope you all try this recipe out, and also, if you think of trying anything different with it, leave a response in the comments below and tell me how it came out. Um, so, that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching. And keep on cooking. What you what you want? What you what you want?